deep in the bowels of the earth lies a place forgotten by history, but remembered by a few members of the secret society. A place where memories lie, bagged and boarded, mummified and bubble wrapped, entombed in plastic tubs. Come with us now, beneath the planet of the collectibles, to Dr. Durant's sanctum, where we examine these memories of a funkier time. Hey fellow travelers, how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, well, as you can see by that wall over there, I'm a huge Planet of the Apes fan. And um, I'm going to show you some of my uh, recent acquisitions. Uh, these just came the other day. I, I couldn't pass them up. They were on sale. They are the reaction figures for Planet of the Apes. These are done by uh, Super 7 or, or Reaction. And they're done in the style, like the, the three and three quarter inch, trying to be like sort of the Kenner Star Wars figures. You can even see that the reaction logo looks like it has the same font as the old Kenner logo. Uh, I mean, these these are worth it just for the, the card art alone. The figures are, are, are interesting. This is General Aldo from Battle of the Planet of the Apes. He's got the card out. Oh. This one is unpunched, which uh, is highly sought after by collectors. It, it doesn't matter to me that much, but it's kind of cool to have it that way because people like it. Awesome card. It looks, looks just like Claude Aikens as, uh, as Aldo. The outfit itself is pretty cool. He's got his cool ape rifle there. And he's even got like the red bloodshot eyes that... that Claude Aikens, who probably had had some hard nights drinking prior to doing some shoots, had in the movie, you could see it. <coughs> uh, on the back of the card art, we've got uh, that this is Wave 2. And some of the stuff that is available there. Pretty awesome. So that is uh, Aldo. Next one I got is, oh, it's a punched card. And this one is Astronaut Cornelius from Escape from the Planet of the Apes, 1971. Uh, one of my guilt, my, my favorite, no, I wouldn't say guilty pleasure. I love all the Planet of the Apes, but this one's pretty cool. Um, and you got him in his space outfit there with his helmet. Problem I've got with these is, the card art is so cool, and they look so cool on the card art that I don't want to open them and take them out and display them. So I may just display them like that. But I'd love to have him, you know, put on his helmet and have him, which means you got to buy two. There's Cornelius. Then I have got one of my all-time favorites, General Ursus from Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Also a great one. Unpunched card. And awesome, awesome card out there. It, it almost reminds me a little bit of like Basil Golgos. And what I always loved about him is I just loved just something about that helmet that, that made me, I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. The glyph, the helmet, the armor breastplate, the pistol. He's got his rifle. The purple hues, it's 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 just great. I love it. Amazing. Great design. Awesome figure. Then we've got Gorilla Soldier Hunter from Planet of the Apes. Look at that. <gasps> That's awesome. He's got the bandolier across his chest. Good detail there on the face rifle and last but not least 
unpunched card. Oh, that was an unpunched card too. So out of them all, I got all unpunched except for uh, one. I got Nova here. Now I had the pleasure of meeting Nova at a convention and getting her autograph. So I have, I can claim to say I have met one cast member from the original Planet of the Apes. There aren't many left, so she was, she was pretty cool.